Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Pisces. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Pisces, I'm doing your reading today with the Light Sears Tarot blended with the Good Tarot in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. We've got the Five of Swords on the split and the Temperance card underneath. Interesting. This Five of Swords, this Five of Swords has been talking to me a lot about vision. It's been talking to me a lot about vision. It's come up in a couple of readings recently and be, just because of these kind of laser beams coming out of the eyes, it's really been emphasizing vision and it being the Five of Swords, it's kind of like what, what you're seeing is not, you don't like what you're seeing. You don't like what you're seeing, but then there's this temperance energy, which is kind of wanting to talk about like a different reality from what you're seeing. You're saying something along the lines of, I'm not seeing what it is I desire. And this temperance energy is saying something about an alternate version or, you know, a, a different, a different perspective, a higher perspective, or it's actually kind of coming through as um, like a, a different layer of reality, something like that, like maybe tuning into a different a different layer it's almost actually oddly enough kind of coming through as like parallel like parallel timelines or parallel it's interesting i was talking to a friend of mine about jane roberts and seth and how they talk a lot about kind of parallel timelines and about how you have different aspects of yourself playing out different timelines and every once in a while um, there can be kind of a bleed through from another timeline into this timeline and you can see kind of get a glimpse into one of those parallel versions, which I've actually feel like I've experienced in my own life a couple of times. It's pretty freaky when it happens. So it's almost something like that. Or maybe you're about to get a glimpse into into a, another timeline or another version, which is really fascinating because then, you know, if that happens, I want to say that it's kind of to inform this timeline for some reason. Like there's something in, in that timeline that would benefit you in this timeline. So it's almost like going over and grabbing a gem from another timeline and bringing it back to where you are now. How bizarre that that's coming through those two cards. So I'm gonna pull you a, a Dream Decoder card as an overall energies for, for energy for Pisces. Pisces, I wanted to start this reading today talking about you as the dreamer. Pisces, the dreamer. And I'm not sure why. It was just in my mind as I was hitting the record button. Pisces, the dreamer. Well, there is a little bit of dream stuff going on in your reading. Maybe that's why. Maybe it really wants to emphasize that. And maybe that's what this is talking about. Kind of, that could be how you're getting glimpses or how there's like a, a guidance coming through here today about how to get glimpses of of this parallel version that could benefit you in this version. Anyway, uh, overall energy for Pisces. Unable to find a restroom. I know there's probably a ton of cards in here that I've never even seen before. I seem to get like kind of the same ones, a handful of the, uh, the same cards that come around often. The, the unable to find a restroom uh, card, it you know, it talks about feeling lost, like not, having a, a growing urgency to find like relief from a situation, right? Or I think I'll just leave it at that. Or having a growing urgency to find relief. And, you know, especially with this card, like I was saying, it's like you're not seeing it. You're not seeing the way or... You know, your life is not showing you the path. You're not seeing the path, which is fascinating because it's like this guy wants to talk about, well, let's take a peek into a different parallel path, something like that. So interesting Pisces, because we're beginning with this Knight of Wands here, which is sometimes comes through as the Four of Wands because it has these four wands around her, right? So it's got a lot of this, like for you today, it's got this vibe of, kind of conjuring a four of wands energy, perhaps. It's almost like, you know, with this beating the drum, it's kind of like creating an environment, creating the vibration or sending out the vibration, the intention. It's kind of coming through as intentionally trying to manifest something that is um, 
that would bring you great happiness. That's what the Four of Wands talks about for me. It talks about kind of the the peak of, of happy experiences, kind of a crescendo of of things coming together that add to just a, a overall happy picture, right? So, but this being the Knight of Wands and especially this drum here, I'm seeing this as, you know, kind of, it, it's almost like a ritual, like, um, like engaging in some sort of a ritual or intention setting, that kind of work in order to draw towards you the things that line up with your happiness. And actually, it feels like you're doing a lot of the work, like just, you know, finding a way to just be happy where you are, finding the kind of sending out this, this bliss signal to the universe and expecting to be surrounded by bliss in return is how it's coming through. But then there's two of inspiration. It's kind of, you know, tying back to this card here where it's like you're doing all of this work. You're broadcasting all of this gorgeous, fiery, passionate, blissful energy. But then looking around at your environment, perhaps, Pisces, and not seeing it, right? It's like it's, like it's all right up but close around you. This is what I mean. It's really interesting that you are, you seem to be doing really good at kind of, being happy where you are. You're happy where you are, but at the same time, you're kind of looking around and not finding maybe things that really match that or match your vision of what it is that you're, that you've got a dream of some sort. You have a desire of some sort. Even though you're happy and you're kind of in this vibration of the dream, you're not seeing it manifesting, I guess. It's like you, like I'm saying, it's almost like your vibration is only within your auric field. That's what this circle around you is looking like to me. All this gorgeous, fiery energy. It's only like, up it's just you. You're the only one. And you're kind of looking around going like, where, where is the stuff that matches this? So, and then here's where the dream stuff comes in that I wanted to say. This empress, this empress who's clearly dreaming, I want to say, she's sleeping, is surrounded by this eight of pentacles and this muse of materials today. And how I was seeing this is, it, you know, the eight of pentacles is, is the work card, right? It's like doing the work or particularly like hobbies, honing your skills, your craft, that kind of, it's just, it's a work card, right? So combined with this empress today, it was kind of looking like dream work to me, actually. It's kind of almost like constructing a world in your dreams is how it's coming through, especially with this card as well, right? Because this is kind of like, uh, I'm kind of getting like Garden of Eden type stuff, but it's not, it's not really right. That's not really what I want to say, but it's kind of like you, you seem to be very much aware that you're doing work in your dream that's kind of like creating, you've created almost a world for yourself in your dream state. I feel like, Pisces, you may actually, it's a lot of this energy. It's kind of like, you know what you want, you know who you are, and it's almost like you're not seeing it in your reality. So you're kind of going into your sleep state with that on your mind and with that intention being set and then feeling like you're doing all this work in the night, like you're constructing it or you're actually going, almost being transported to another timeline, I want to say, with this that's been coming out here, right? It's almost like you've been visiting another version, another parallel version of yourself in your dream state. And it feels like doing a lot of work. Doing a lot of work. It's interesting. I have a lot of dreams as well of kind of like, because um, I used to work in, in concerts and show business, right? And so I used to build sets and work on movie sets and stuff. And so I have a lot of dreams still where I'm still on a crew and we're constructing, like getting ready for the show, getting the show ready, building the set, building the stage, everything coming together. That's what this is kind of looking like to me. And it's like, you're doing all that in your dreams. You're constructing this you're constructing this four of wands world in your dreams, but then this five of materials is like, but then waking up and it's, it's, oh, it's interesting. It's almost like, and then being separated from it, right? You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's all this, this interesting, like fiery, like through this. Okay. So 
it's actually coming through as you're doing really well at carrying this energy with you. It's staying with you through your day. It's just not being reflected back to you in your environment, right? It's like you're in this happy little bubble. And then you go into your, your dream state and spend all this gorgeous time in this like Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, Chronicles of Narnia, other dimension place. And then when you're waking up, it's almost like you don't want to be separated from it, right? It's like you being pulled out of your dream and it kind of fading into the background and you're going, no, I'm not ready to, to leave yet. I'm not ready to leave yet. Interesting. I'm just, I'm suddenly just feeling in here whether there is another... It almost feels like there's somebody there that you're visiting because as I'm doing this, I feel like the hands are separating, like you're being separated from somebody that you spend time with in your dreams, perhaps. So it's interesting how suddenly there's like another character coming in here. So. So and then I, I, I'm actually trying to look at the landscape in the distance, but as I zoomed in to see the details, I'm seeing how the hands are how the hands are touching in the center, right? So it's almost like confirming to me that there is there's some sort of a connection there. There's some sort of a connection there. It's almost like um actually like when somebody's passed on actually maybe that's who we're, what we're talking about for some of you with this angelic presence here. You know, it's like you're looking you're looking for them in your in your physical reality but they're they're in another version, they're in another reality, another dimension. And it's like you're visiting them in your dreams and it feels so real, especially as it's coming through with all this pentacles energy, right? This feels like it's just for some of you or maybe for one of you. It's like you're visiting, you're spending time with somebody who's who's passed over in the, in this dream realm. And then it's just, it's kind of like heartbreaking every time you have to wake up and be separated. Oh, Pisces. So... Um, this Ace of Materials coming next, if you heard me talk about this card, it talks to me about being moved. This is coming through as a move, a physical move is required. It could be literally translated as actually like moving your home or just traveling, but it could just mean some sort of physical action or steps that need to be taken in your physical life. Because it feels to me like a lot of what is happening here is almost this kind of imaginary daydreamy world. Like it's, it's a really kind of vibrational. It's like you're spending time in this, in this, uh, it's like a daydream, but it's, ugh, how do I, what am I trying to say here? You're in this bubble of reality, right? That feels like it's, it almost feels like it's being conjured by you. Like you're creating this atmosphere that you prefer to live within, right? It's like your happy energy, but you're not seeing it reflected in the world around you. And then you're spending all of this dream time in, in it, in a, in a more, almost like a more real way. See what I'm saying? Because when you're out in your day, it's just you that matches that world, right? It's almost like you're this character that was pulled out of this world and dropped into this reality where you're the only one, you're the only character from that story that's here in this story. Very strange, all this weird parallel timeline, parallel stories going on. So a physical move is talking to me about like all this work that you've been doing energetically, dream-based, whatever, however you want to categorize it. It feels like it's all been kind of within your being, it, uh, within your psyche even and now this is talking about somehow translating it to the physical world but not that literally it's talking about what needs to happen next perhaps Pisces is something something in your doing something something needs to happen a move needs to happen in your physical life it almost actually feels disconnected from all of this stuff and the reason that I'm saying that is because this world cosmos and the page of inspiration coming next, both really beautiful cards, um, kind of this energy that you're in, right. With all this dreaminess kind of like in this, it's almost like you've constructed this world, right? It's like I'm saying, it's like you, or you're plugged into a world that isn't necessarily around you it's only in your auric field it's within your psyche it's within your beingness but it's not in your environment you see what i'm saying 
And that's just emphasizing that for me. It's almost like putting on virtual reality goggles, right? That's like your dream state is like you're, you get transported to this other reality and you're doing this amazing job of kind of walking around in your everyday life, almost as if you have that virtual reality helmet still on. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's almost a little bit like Pisces denial of the reality that exists around you because you're living in this reality. I don't want, did you construct it? I want to say that you didn't necessarily construct it. Although there is a lot of that there with this, like building this working, all this work in your dreams. It feels more like accessed. You've accessed this version of reality and you walk around with it on like a VR helmet. It's really interesting. So but what I'm seeing here with this page of inspiration, which I often see as kind of like an iPod putting in your earbuds, listening to me, it's actually usually kind of like blocking out reality and disappearing into the music, right? But today I'm really focused on this this world up here that that the bubble that you're within, it's kind of talking about dropping out of that, like leaving that be for a moment and dropping out of that and then and then doing something really physical in the physical real world where you're moving, you're doing, there's some sort of an action required is what I want to say. And I want to say it could be travel because the hermit card is coming next, which I want to say is less about the hermit energy and is more about the landscape that she's in. Because to me, from where I am living right now, this landscape would be foreign to me, right? So to me, that looks like a travel scene. It looks like travel magazine, travel imagery. So that's what we're talking about here. It's kind of talking about kind of unplugging from this and physically going somewhere is what seems to be the guidance here. Because the Wheel of Fortune comes next. So it's talking to me about in moving physically, in moving physically, change is going to, it's kind of, there's something like you have to actually move your physical body, the location of your physical body. It's interesting because it's like you're in this, this bubble of reality and it's almost like what I'm feeling is like, there's this guidance wanting you to take that bubble. It's interesting because it's kind of saying unplug from it, but I'm kind of getting something different here. It's more like to take that bubble of reality that you've created or plugged into and move it around more, like take it to more places. If that makes sense. Because it's like, it's been too stationary. It's been too plugged into one location. That could be what this, this dropping out of or disconnecting is. It could be just kind of like unplugging from the environment that you're in and actually moving, moving around. Because there's this, the wheel of fortune in the center, the lovers on one side and the hermit on the other, which is really fascinating to me. But it's talking about like, in order to get this wheel to turn, go somewhere new almost, go somewhere new or travel. It's kind of just coming through as travel. And it doesn't have to be like to a foreign land. It doesn't even have to be far from your home. It's just, it could just be like going for long walks, going like just kind of wandering around, moving your body around is going to get the energy moving. And it's interesting actually, because this wheel of fortune is actually kind of this stack. It's almost looking to me like a, like a trail, like you're leaving tracks, like everywhere you go, everywhere you go, you're leaving this imprint of this energetic version. It's almost like creating, a, you're almost like creating a timeline by moving through the physical environment. Um, but what this was talking about with the lovers here is talking, well, first of all, it's that, it's all that energy opening up, right? All this fiery energy opening up. So it's kind of like creating this trail. It's, it's less, it could be about a lover's energy, like a, a love connection, but it's talking to me more about just things that you love, things that you love. You're, you will be moving more towards uh, kind of generating a reality around you that is contains more of the things that you love, which is where we started here. It's like you're trying to, it's almost like you're sitting where you are kind of emitting this gorgeous love vibration and looking around saying like, where's all the love? Where's all the love? Where's all the love? And it's, and it, but it's just you, right? It's not, 
It's not, it's not going anywhere. It's not generating anything or attracting anything. And it's kind of saying to take that with you and move, move about the planet in a sense, go out in exploration. And it's almost like it's spreading the love. It's spreading the love or that's what I want to say, actually, because the seven of inspiration here, look at this. It's almost like you're this, this, this stream of light and love kind of moving through. I don't want to say the darkness, but it's just emphasizing other than this is your energy. You see what I'm saying here about how it's just contained within your little bubble. But it's like if you begin moving, it kind of it's like it has this tail, this trail behind it. It's kind of opening and expanding out. If that makes any sense, it's getting bigger. It's definitely getting bigger, right? But it seems to require some sort of physical move on your part. I'm not completely sure why. Maybe it's getting you out of this maze that you're in. It's kind of like you've already explored this. You've already explored your close vicinity. It's like you need to take it out broader now. It needs to expand bigger than that. And it's interesting because I'm very clearly getting the message that it's almost like you're spreading an energy around. It's not like that you are... You know, in this card and in this card as well, it's kind of like this seeking and in this card, this is all about seeking, seeking, but not finding. But the message seems to be more like building, creating and you know what I mean? You creating this by moving your body through the landscape, you're constructing this like love trail, whatever that means. But it, it's, it's kind of just like. It gets bigger somehow by moving. I don't understand exactly how or why, but that's the message. So I'm going to continue to explore this further and extend it and see if I can pull out any more information, get more clarity about what exactly this is talking about. But it's kind of like, it's kind of like you're tapping into a uh, another version of reality in your dreamscape and then waking up and looking around going, where is it? Where is it? And it's kind of like, you got to go out. It's not necessarily saying go out and create it. It's kind of just like, take it out into the world and spread it around somehow. And it will, it's like, it's going to open up and you, by moving out into the world, you're going to, you're going to be surrounded by more of it. It's like where, where you are now is not where it is. Something like that. So, okay. Uh, link to the extended is in the description box. I'll see you next time, Pisces. Thanks. Bye.